Welcome to Newfoundland. My home <laughs> province. Now I suppose we gotta talk, start talking like a Newfoundland. Oh! Oh. oh my god. That is pretty bad. We're Michael and Holof. Together with our German Shepherd, Kana. This is for you. Oh. We've been traveling full time around the United States in our camper van. Kana, what you doing? We arrived in Canada to explore the vast land of the Great White North. So come, join us and travel around Canada in our home on wheels. Previously, we explored the Cabot Trail Drive in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia, one of the world's most scenic drives. It was truly an enjoyable experience. We ended up here in North Sydney, a small town on Cape Breton where our next adventure begins with a ferry ride. In the meantime, I had to figure out something is called Transderm V. It's basically a motion sickness medication. Well, here in Canada, we got this patch from Costco and each box actually comes with two patches. Well, let's put this patch on behind my ear. It should be good for three days. Since we are leaving within three days, I should be covered. What you making? I am making egg and cheese bagels to take on the ferry with us. So clearly we're cooking with ostrich eggs. <laughs> Good God, that's huge. Or double yolk. Oh, it's a double yolk. It is double yolk. Let me see what this one is. This is also huge. And also, <laughs> oh my God. Four abortions. What's that sound? No generator. See, frying eggs with no generator. Just our battle born batteries doing this. Oh, I'm an idiot, right? No, I think it's cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yours. Oh no, they're all good. Two egg, ham and cheese, bagels. Ah, 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 hey, ah, Kana. Ah. Hey, Kana. Yes, we got a new coffee machine. <laughs> How about that? It's a little bit chilly morning today, but no complaints because I'd rather be cold than hot. Sprite out, it's gonna be a good, good day. Good girl. Belly rub. You gonna stay here for six hours today? <laughs> Today's the day that we get on the ferry and go to Newfoundland. Excited? I am now. Good. Can you tell? Yes. I just woke up. Give me a break. <laughs> With our neighbors, our ship neighbors from last night, Leif Erikson is leaving the dock today. We spent the morning at the harbor watching the boats nearby. This is it. We're heading out to the ferry. Yeah. It's the point of no U-turn. Been to old Finland, let alone new Finland. You will arrive Finland. at your destination. This is a sold out ferry, so it's supposed to be, well, pretty packed. We have to check in two hours before the departure time, which is what we're doing now. And there's just a lot of people. Everybody's checking in. We are going to be in the same boat. Literally. We learned from our previous mistake. There are a travel form that we had to fill out before boarding the ferry go to Newfoundland. And we did that and it was super duper easy but everybody has to have one so that guy will go buy the larger vehicles and measure them so if someone said on their form that their vehicle is 35 feet long with a trailer and it actually has to be 40 feet long they'll end up getting charged more when they go in everything's by the length of the vehicle so they have to know that you've told them correctly or the bookings will be wrong. I'm a little bit antsy now but I think it's mostly the uh, excitement of going to Newfoundland finally just want to make sure that we got there. <laughs> make sure I didn't tell them that we were 20 feet long just to get a cheaper uh, price. No, I'm sure you didn't. No, I told them 24. Good morning. Good morning. 7483. Lane number 11. Lane 11, thank you very much. Look how cute it is. It is our boarding card. Is that the propane? It just needs to be visible. Now we are just two hours away from getting on the ferry and going to Newfoundland. We got 22 lanes. You would think all these cars would sink the boat. So one of the unfortunate things about Marine Atlantic is that you're not allowed to take a pet on board. Your pet either has to stay in a kennel, up in the kennel area, or she has to stay in your vehicle. 
and we have chosen to allow Connor to stay in the vehicle because having a kennel with us, that would be too much to, to carry. So we've got one of these things that you put in your window to let them know that there's a pet on board so that if anything goes wrong downstairs in the vehicle room, they can know that she's there. So Connor is going to get some drugs and she's going to be sleeping the whole oh my time. God. We always tell people that she has a bad separation anxiety. Olive has a lot of separation anxiety already. I do, words. yes. I, I've been like kind of like keep thinking about it. I get anxiety already. <laughs> I'll give you a pill, knock you out for the whole trip. Just like a parent uh, for the uh, first day of kindergarten. But, oh well. <laughs> I guess we should have got a coffee before we came in. Guess what? We can make coffee too. I know, but it'd be nice to have a Tim Hortons. The outside. Tim Hortons is a necessity, so I'll be able to actually get out. Gonna go Tim Hortons and go back in. Sorry, we're just addicts, I guess. Could I get a large double double, please? And a medium. All right, thank you so much. You too. The service to Port of Mass is now ready for boarding. Passengers are asked to return to their vehicles and await direction from. We have what we need to cross. <laughs> ready to report. Time to drug the dog called Grandma or Drama Bean. Piece of ham? Okay, Kana. Drug our dog. I did. We did it. We conspired. Are you sleepy yet? Go to sleep, little girl. Go to sleep up under bed. Which could take you, Connor? You'll be okay, right? Yes, you will be okay. Hi, we're moving. Parents, and I have to get some information about your propane. Sure. Okay, I just have to scan your board. Okay. Right in front of it, you're heading to the bottom deck. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Thank you. Didn't ask us any questions about our propane. <laughs> That's a big deal, isn't it? Like all the propane stuff? Oh, yeah. Your job is just to sit there, buddy. We are now heading into the ferry boat, the MV Highlander. It's really close. Dang. Lots of vehicles packed tightly in the lot. And our Kana is tucked in for the ferry Stay ride. Brakes. Sorry, buddy. He's not happy either. Oh. Uh, I miss her already. It's nice as you remember it. Oh, a lot nicer than I remember it. Well, first of all, it was in the 80s, so it was all different decor. Yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. It's pretty comfortable. Yeah, it's nice here. We're aboard the MV Highlanders for a six-hour journey to Newfoundland. It's definitely a ferry journey with comfortable seats. They even come with USB connections for your phone. COVID restrictions are still in place here. Many of the seats are still blocked off for social distancing. For sure, there's lots of room to spread out around the boat, including the sun deck. Soon enough, we're departing on our journey leaving Nova Scotia for Newfoundland. And off we go. Six hours to Newfoundland. <laughs> and they even have a helicopter pad here. Wonder who's actually gonna land. Never know. We lucked out. It's a beautiful morning to be able to enjoy our ferry ride and tour the boat on the outside. Just in case you need to barf. Always handy to have. The official rule is still have to be mask in public area. However, you know, when we're sitting down, it doesn't seem like everybody's wearing mask. I think it's still the official rule, but it's not enforced. I'm the only one here now, so I'm just gonna quickly take off my mask. Obviously, they have a bathroom here, or people call it washroom. Pretty standard. Sink, so mirror to look yourself, and stalls, toilet, clean and immaculate. And also some kind of needles uh, dispensary over here. And this is where we've been sitting on, deck eight. They also have some cabins, which we don't have, but at least they have reclining seats here on deck eight. And they're very comfortable. In the normal times, they have a gift shop, but unfortunately they're not open recently due to COVID. They have to be bilingual here. Everything's English and French. 
and Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, this doesn't work. Obviously no smoking. And you can't really use marijuana products on board. So I've been hanging out here on the deck of the boat for probably an hour, hour and a half right now. Just watching little whales. We saw some on the distance. You can't see them very well, but you can see the spout. So you can see the poof of water that comes up. But just a few minutes ago, we saw a few of them right beside the boat and one of them came in, in under the boat, it's a pilot whale, but unfortunately it happened way too fast for me to get my camera out. Although I did take a little video of the group together. But it's kind of fun just hanging out here watching things. So this is where the kennels are. If we brought Kana on board, we'd have to have a hard kennel for her and she would spend her time in here. So there's room here for nine. Not too hot or too cold, that's good. There's a pet relief area right here. Yeah, Michael. They're probably watching it on film right now. There's like a camera right here. Hi! <laughs> We've been on the ferry now for a few hours. And if you can see right behind me, you can see Newfoundland. So we should be in probably in the next hour or so. Looking forward to it. Please remove animals from the kennel until the ship is secured at Southside and further announcements have been made. Lunch to go that was prepared by Michael. It's really good. Mm. Also worth mentioning is that there's a coffee house, or rather, a cafeteria on board. You can get a few hot meals and specialties from the kitchen. Cold paninos and sandwiches, salads and drinks, and of course, hot beverages. Hey, how you doing, man? Good. Could I just bring a coffee, actually? Sure. Uh, I got a 16 and a 12 in. 16. Done. If you like dark or regular? Uh, regular. regular. You're welcome. Hello. All right. Okay. Let me yeah. Yeah. Time for coffee. Oh, it's Van Hoot. Van Hoot. Van Hoot is good. Is it? That's what Dad has at the house. Oh yeah. It's good. Never heard of it before. No. It's, it's pretty okay. good coffee. Pizza it seems to be the most popular one because everybody's getting one. But it looks like cardboard. Yeah, and it's like six dollars. That's a lot. Canadian. It, but still, holy crap. <laughs> well, we're on a boat, so. Yeah. Coffee is reasonable though, it's like 275. Hopefully kind of still alive in our van still there. <laughs> yeah, well I'm sure the van is still there. You excited? Oh, just trembling with excitement. Let me see the trembling. Of course I'm excited. I just don't show it like you do, I'm sorry. And we're approaching Newfoundland by dusk. There is beautiful scenery here at the Port of Bass. It's definitely my first time in 30 years being in Newfoundland. I never thought I'd come back, actually. There is beautiful scenery here at Port of Bass, our first docking port in Newfoundland. Our excitement is building up as we closely watch the ferry getting closer and closer to the dock. And now it's time to get back down into the van and get off the ferry into Newfoundland. That's the name of the last ferry I was on, was the Caribou, I think. Let's go save the dog. Thank you. You're welcome, have a good day. Oh, another dog. Hey buddy, hey buddy. Hey. Can't wait to see Kana. <laughs> We're just seeing some of the other dogs and they seem to be made out okay. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Hey girl, oh my god. My goodness, Kyla. That was the longest time she's ever been alone by about four hours. What's the total time? Like six and a half? Six and a half hours. Oh my god. Kyla. So sorry, Kyla. All the dogs happy. <laughs> so cute. That dog at least kind of had a lot more room than that dog did. I yes. left the dog in the trailer. I don't know why they didn't do that. We're in Newfoundland, huh? Yes, we are in Porto Bass. Or as we say, Newfoundland, Porto Bass. Porto Bass. Done yet. It's not over yet, but I bet you this is the COVID checkpoint. You have to do the the travel form thing. Oh. So we gotta just pull it out and get the numbers out. I think that's what we need. 
What do you need from us? So, uh, new for land the, reference number? Yeah, it's yep. our... Okay, NL16439145. Oh, Ooh. Oh my god. That is pretty bad. Man. Oops. How's it going? It's great, by the way, thank you. Better than that guy. Yeah, that's uh, not good. Now you might be there for a little bit until he gets that straightened out. Uh, yeah. If you're still trying to move him to one side, I guess, for insurance purposes. Yeah. He's almost hitting him again, grinding him. You good to go? Thank you very much. Have a good one. You do. Continue on Newfoundland and Labrador 1 East. That sucks. Welcome to Newfoundland. Woohoo! My home <laughs> province. Now I suppose I gotta talk, start talking like a Newfoundlander. But. The first thing we got to do is find a place to stay because I do not want to be on the road after that sun goes down. Moose. Oh, happy dog. <laughs> Stretch those legs. Come here, Connor. Come here. She needs to burn off some energy for sure. Oh man, glad to be here. <laughs> we are in Newfoundland. I'm so happy that it was a smooth ride and I didn't get sick. He didn't have to use this little thing on his ear. Yes. <laughs> no, it was a really smooth ride. When I came across here as a kid, we were on a lot smaller vessels and I remember falling out of bed once oh when we God. had a cabin. Yeah, so this was just smooth sailing all the way, but we really enjoyed the trip. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to our channel and follow our adventures all over North America, including Canada, United States, Mexico, and Newfoundland, please push that subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications every time we post something new, hit the bell. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And there's no patch. What? Oh. <laughs> there's no dot. The dot is right here. So much more. <laughs> crispy wafers, creamy caramel, rice crispy nuts by the score. <laughs>